my mother. I want to say also, he never took the distinction between being someone who had left Estonia as a refugee. There are all these terms that were used, you know, there was the Bagulana, which meant the refugee. There was the Valizestana, which meant literally the outside Estonian, which is probably like exile. Um, my mother just always referred to herself as an Estana. I'm Estonian. She never gave up her Estonian citizenship. <laughs> and she, d she was born with it and she died with it. <laughs> and when she died, at the age of 94, I um, decided to read a verse from um, the, what was called the sort of the unofficial Estonian anthem because they were not allowed to sing the Estonian anthem during the Soviet occupation, which is amazing that a song could be censored. <laughs> but the unofficial anthem is actually very, very beautiful too, and the words are beautiful. And I thought that they so beautifully fit her <laughs> You know, she was just this um, true native daughter, never, never stopped. And um, so the verse that I, I read for her um, was the, la the last verse from that <laughs> song. I would like to read them, f recite them in Estonian first and then uh, in English. Muisama on minu arm. Ja ta on puhata. Su rüppe heidän unelle ja mu pyha estima. Su linnud und mu laulavad. Mu parbust lilled öitsetad. Mui sama, mui sama. My love, land of my fathers, I want to rest. And she did. She was 94 and she, she had lived that long life and she was ready to go. On your bosom lay to sleep, <laughs> my sacred Estonia. In my dreams, your birds will sing. From my ashes, flowers will bloom, land of my fathers. So even from her ashes, <laughs> she would still have those flowers bloom for that land that she really loved. <laughs>